What's up, you freaking geniuses? So in this video, I'm going to teach you how to solve rational equations by cross multiplying. All right. So to solve this type of rational equation, you really just have to cross multiply just like that. So the first cross right here, we have nine times x plus one, right? So we're going to do nine times x plus one and just set that equal to your other cross. So three times four x plus five, right? Four x plus five. All right, so now we can just uh, simplify everything by multiplying it together. So nine times x plus one is gonna be equal to nine x plus nine, and that's equal to this guy over here. So we're just distributing, right? So three times four x is equal to 12 x, and three times five is 15. Okay, now we just wanna get all our x's on one side and the numbers on the other. So let's move the x's to the right here. So we're going to subtract nine x from both sides, and let's get the numbers to the other side. So we'll subtract 15 from both sides. All right, those cancel out, those cancel out. On this side, nine minus 15 is equal to negative six, and that's equal to 12 minus nine, which is just three x, all right? Then here we can just divide both sides by three. Negative six over three is equal to negative two, all right? So we get that x is equal to negative two. All right, here's the last one we'll do. So we have negative one over x minus three is equal to x minus four over x squared minus 27, all right? So again, we just want to cross multiply these guys. So first we have negative one times x squared minus 27, and that's equal to our other cross over here. Uh, so let's just say x minus three times x minus four, okay? So again, we just want to multiply everything together. So here we're going to have negative x squared plus 27, and that's equal to this guy over here, which we have to foil. So uh, we're going to have x squared minus 4x minus 3x, which is equal to negative 7x, and then negative 3 times negative 4 is positive 12. Okay, so you can see we have this trinomial in quadratic form. So let's just move all these terms to the right so we can combine everything and then just set it equal to zero. So uh, we have negative x squared, so let's just add x squared to both sides, and then this negative uh, positive 27, we're going to subtract 27 from both sides. Those cancel out, those cancel out, so we just get a big fat zero over here, and that's gonna be equal to x squared plus x squared is equal to two x squared minus seven x uh, minus 15. Okay, so now that we have this quadratic set equal to zero, now we can factor this, right? So let's break this up. So two x squared, we can break that up into two x and x, and then we need two numbers that multiply to negative 15, right? And you might have to do uh, some guess and check a couple times, but you'll get that we'll have a positive three here and a minus five here, okay? And again, this is equal to zero. Okay, cool, so we're almost there. I'm gonna scroll down just to give ourselves some more room. Okay, so since we have our two factors here, we just have to set those equal to zero. So first we have two x plus three, set that equal to zero, and x minus five is equal to zero, right? So first of all, over here, to solve for x, we can subtract three from both sides. So we get two x is equal to negative three, and then we can divide both sides by two. So here we just get that x is equal to negative three halves, all right? And then over here, x minus five is equal to zero. Well, we can see that x must be equal to positive five, all right? So then here are our two answers. x is equal to negative three halves and x is equal to five. Now, whenever you get two or more answers, you generally wanna check for extraneous solutions. Okay, so again, that just means plugging in both of your answers into the original equation and making sure that they actually work and you get a true statement for both of them. Okay, I'm not gonna go through all that here, but I'm gonna tell you that both of these are actually true answers, all right? Neither one of them are extraneous. So if you found the video helpful, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. And if you have any other questions or wanna see any other examples, just let me know in the comment section below.